Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi, good night. Welcome, Hi. guys. Welcome to another class here with me, Alejandro Narbona, on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. How are you guys? ¿Cómo están esta noche? Fine. I'm fine. Fine. No more rain? No more. No. All right. Fantastic. Now, um, before we start with today's topic, hello, Laura. Before we start with today's topic, do you have any questions about yesterday's topic or assessment? Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me. There was um, a question, the last one, number four. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I made all the combinations, or the possible combinations in that, and it's always incorrect. Yeah. That is correct. So I guess that it happened to you, Bea, to you, William. It happened to me too. But the answer is how well. How well. Mm -hmm. How well. How well. Somehow it's not letting us change it to. Uh, I mean, it's not accepting the correct one, but it is how well. Just how well. Mm -hmm. How well. Without the do you. I mean, how well do you with the, with the right instruction? My apologies. So, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So, even though if you do how well do you, it is going to give, it, give you an incorrect answer, but it is correct. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. So, let's call it system issue. Digamos que el sistema no está aceptando, um, pero sí, esa es la, la adecuada. Y no nos va a afectar en la calificación. Ya lo reporté. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ya mandé ese reporte de que está, no está aceptando la, la respuesta adecuada. Because I already tried, I tried myself and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, don't worry about it. All right, guys, um, do you have any other question about yesterday's topic? No. no. Okay. No. So today, guys, we are going to be working with um, section number two, okay? And this section is going to be about simple past. Okay? Okay. All right, very good. So, what do you know about simple past? ¿Qué saben acerca del pasado simple? Los verbos irregulares y esas cosas son Okay. Exacto. También utilizamos lo que es el das. O el do, dependiendo si es tercera persona el das y si es primera persona lo que es el do. Eh, you. Eso está you. bien. Uh -huh. That is correct, but with simple present. In simple ah, past, simple present. Uh -huh. In simple past, we use the same. Was, es, eh, ocupamos was. El, el, el was, was. el verbo to be. We use did. En vez de do, did. we use did. Did. Mm -hmm. En vez de don't, did. ocupamos did. Okay. Did. All right. Very good. So let's go to the topic, guys. I'm going to share the screen with you. Remember to follow everything on your own, on your own platform, all right? Yeah. All right, fantastic. So let's double check this here. All right, so please read with me. In this session, in this, in session, this, session, in this, session, in this session, participants session. will listen to a conversation. Participants will, participants listen, to will listen to a conversation, a conversation. about two people. About, about two people. People. Mm -hmm. people. 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 It's not people like in Spanish. It is people. 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 Exactly. People. And the activities they did during the past weekend. And the activity yeah. 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 we can. All right, very good. So, how do you say el fin de semana pasado? Sorry, how do you say el fin de semana pasado? Uh, the last, last week. The last week. Uh, last last week. weekend. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can say last week. Yeah. Or past weekend. Past weekend significa que ya pasó. Ok, so, okay. en este enlace los participantes escucharán a dos personas hablando sobre actividades que hicieron el fin de semana pasado. Ok, so, I'm going to stop the share and I will share with audio so you can listen to it, alright? 
Gonna share with the computer audio. Let's listen up. Say it with me. Did you do anything? Did you anything? Did you do anything? Did you anything? Did you do anything? Did you do anything? Go ahead. Um, I'll get to me on the phone. No. No. All right. So let's go ahead and play. Hi to all, welcome to section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us, walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. All right. So, guys, this was a conversation about simple past, okay? Now, in this session, conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. All right. Here we got it. Read with me, please. I need you to unmute, unmute your microphone because I want you to read with me, all right? Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? What did you do last weekend, Meg? Last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. Oh, oh I had a great time. I had a great time. time. A great time. Mm -hmm. Here, we're going to link it. I had a, I had a great time. I had, I, had a, a a I had a great had time. time. Had a great time. Very good. And time, remember that we're going to put our lists together. Vamos a juntar los labios. I had a great time. I, I, got, I had, had a great, great time. time. So, I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. I, I went, went to a karaoke, karaoke bar, bar, bar and with some friends on Saturday. 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 That sounds like fun. That, that sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Like fun. Like That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? 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 Remember, we have the apostrophe S. El apostrophe y la S. Did you go to Lucky's? 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 No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. We went to that new downtown. Downtown. How about you? How about you? Now, faster. How about you? How about you? Did you go anywhere? Do you, Do you go, go anywhere? 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Good intonation right here. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. I just, I just, I just stayed, home stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish oh. test is today. I forgot all about that. 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 Don't worry, you always get an A. Don't worry, you always get an A. 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 All right, fantastic. Yeah. So let me see, I need volunteers. Yeah, 
volunteers or victims? Catherine, can you hear me? Yes, I heard you. Right. So read this for me, please. So what did you do last weekend, Meg? So what did you do last weekend, Meg? Excellent, excellent. That's not English, that's me. All right, let me see Carlos Morales. Yes. You there? Awesome. Oh, I got, I had a great time. Uh -huh. I'm going to say it first. Lo voy a decir primero para que tú puedas copiarme a mí. Oh, I had a great time. Oh, I got a great time. Time. I guess, time. I guess, uh -huh. time. Time. I guess, uh, los labios. Time. Time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Yeah, I went to karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. 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 A veces la T, guys, suena como que si fuera R. No vamos a decir Saturday, decimos Saturday. 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 Let me see who I got here. Laura, can you hear me? <coughs> Laura, can you hear me? All right. Um, ben, ustedes en su pantalla pueden ver la, la imagen que estoy viendo aquí, yeah. ¿verdad? Yeah. Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Laura, yeah. la persona que tiene el nombre es Laura. All right. A veces, guys, muchos tienen nombres. I really need you to concentrate, as will be. Muchos tienen nombres que quizás no son los de ustedes. Así que la persona que dice aquí, que estoy viendo en estos momentos, dice Laura, nunca les puse. Ok. Está congelado. Si tiene, tipo, <risa> ajá, si tiene algún tipo de problema con el audio, pues escríbame en privado para ver cómo lo sonamos. All right. So, Yesenia, volviendo al tema. Yesenia, can you hear me? Yes. Sorry, yes. <laughs> Don't worry. All right, so repeat after me. That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lockies? Did you go Did you go to Lockies? Uh-huh. Again, guys, vamos a hacer. Did you go to go to Lockies? Roxana Vasquez, can you hear me? Roxana? Can you hear me? All right, let me see. Um, Daisy. Hi. All right, read with me. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. We went to the new place downtown. How about you? How about you? Did you go anywhere? Did you go anywhere? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Good job. Let me see Selena. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Selena. Repeat after me, please. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. I just stayed home and studied for today's. Huh? Uh, I today's don't Spanish see test. the last Spanish test. All right, very good. Let me see another one. Show me. Hola. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Our Spanish test is today. Our Spanish test, test is, is the, today. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Okay, very good. And then I see Ronnie. Don't worry, you always get an A. Don't worry, you always get an A. All right, fantastic. A. Get, an a. Get, an a. get an A. So, get an a. guys, get an a. cuando ustedes tengan tiempo durante el día, lo que pueden hacer es escucharlos y grabarse a ustedes mismos. Traten de copiar absolutamente todo, entonación, cómo se va linkeando, y eso les aseguro que les va a soltar mucho la lengua. It's going to make you improve your pronunciation. All right, so let's continue. Please, everybody, mute your phones, your microphones. I always get confused with phones. I don't know why. All right, thank you very much. So let's go with the next one. I'm just gonna read it for you. In this session, 
Simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. En esta clase se presentarán preguntas y respuestas en pasado. Verbos regulares e irregulares también se estudiarán. Okay, so we're going to listen to this audio, guys, and then we are going to go through the structure. Listen up, please. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. All right, thank you very much, guys. So, as you can see today, we are going to be covering simple, simple past, okay? Now, do me a favor and unmute your microphones, please. All right, very good. So, I need a volunteer, guys, for you to tell me when to use simple past. ¿Cuándo creen que ocupamos simple past? In conversation, in normal conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, in normal conversation. But when? Do we use simple past in the future, in the present? Or when the when I use the past. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, here past tense will be for finished actions. Repeat after me. Finished. Actions. Finish. 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 Action. Action. Uh -huh. And uh, the pronunciation will be finished. Finish. 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 Who paid attention to the video? The subjects. For questions. Uh, mm -hmm. We use did. For questions. Plus uh, the pronoun. Mm -hmm. The verb in complement. Okay, very good. You have a very good idea. I'm going to show you this that I got from the slide. Here you have 
how do you say go and PC? I say start. I started. I started. I started. I started. I started. Very good. So, as you can see, we have the subject, the verb in past, and then we will have the complement. So, how do you say, Yo estudié anoche? I'm sorry, I started. I started last night. So I started, started last night. Y el verbo en pasado. Don't worry about it. The pronunciation is different, and I'm gonna share another image with you in a few minutes. Okay. So the negative. I did not I did start. I did not start. I did not start. I did not start. Correct. As you can see, we have what is this? It's a subject. Subject. Auxiliary. Negative. 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 And there. Very basic form. Very basic form. Correct. So, and the complement. As you can see, every time that we use the auxiliary did, the verb is going to be in base. Okay? Como refuerzo, en las negativas, tenemos sujeto, auxiliar did. Bueno, sería didn't. Yo les aconsejo que digamos didn't, porque suena mucho más natural. Say it with me. Didn't. 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 Correct. Didn't. And also here in the question we say, did I start? 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 So, teacher, tell me. Ahí no se no se hace la contracción del auxiliar con el sujeto, no que lleva separado. Se puede decir un poquito más pegado, más. Did I? Did I? Did I start? Did I start? Normally, we are not going to say, did I start? Ah, por eso preguntaba, did I start? Uh -huh. Correct. Solo did van a hacer, va a sonar así, si por ejemplo, está teniendo una duda. Did I start? Ustedes no yo se acuerdan si empezamos. Yo voy a comenzar. Uh -huh. Did I start? Did I start? Did I start? So, did I start? Again, did I start? verb in base, because we have auxiliary did. Okay. Si se fijan, guys, como estaba mencionando, quiero ver, um, where are you, sir? Mr. Mendoza. Como estaba mencionando el señor Mendoza al empezar la clase, es que, señores, it is the same structure as the present. Es la misma que presente simple. ¿Ok? Sin embargo, vamos a poner la clase. Mira, aquí se ve su mano, mira. ¿Ok? So, how do you say yo estudié anoche? I started last night. I started last night. I started last night. Ella estudió anoche. She did not. She did not. She didn't study. She didn't study last night. Last night. Correct. And how do you say estudió en la noche? Last night. Last night. Okay. Very good. Very good. So as you can see, guys, simple present is not that complicated as far as the structure, but you do need to learn the verbs. Tienen que memorizarse los verbos y eso lastimosamente no hay otra que practicándola. Ok. So, vamos a hacer, quiero enseñarles una. I want to show some image with you. In just a second. Who can tell me what is the difference between a regular and an irregular verb? Anybody? The regular verb and with verb in right. E. Regular verb ends in ed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The regular verbs are going to finish in ed. Ed. Exactly. And what about the irregular verbs? 
irregular verbs have three forms. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. For example, do, mm -hmm. that, does, don't. Mm, that would be in present. En pasado sería do, did, 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 so yeah. we do have to For example, the can buy both. I'm sorry, Ronnie. Uh, for example, buy both. But exactly, buy both. Buy both. Buy but. Cut, cut. <laughs> cut, cut. So the yeah. aquí como as you can see, we have the regular verbs. They think in ed, which add the d. IED or ED. And the irregular verbs, they are going to change completely or they remain the same. For example, put, put, put. Put, put. Mm -hmm. put. So, como consejo, guys, um, yo les recomiendo que traten de poner los verbos en bloques. Por ejemplo, los irregulares que no cambian, como por ejemplo, put, put, put. Cut, cut, cut. Entonces un día ustedes trabajan con los que no cambian y ya saben, todos estos no cambian, es el mismo. Luego pueden cambiar, por ejemplo, um, van como en categorías y se los van memorizando así. ¿okay? Los que sí cambian, los que solo se les agrega de, etc., etc. So, and as far as the pronunciation, I want you to check this. Let me share the screen with you. <laughs> All right. Here we have the pronunciation of the regular verbs in past. All right. So say it with me. Help. 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 Look. Help. Look. 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 Sniffed. 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 Laughed. Washed. Washed. Watched. Watched. Kissed. 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 Danced. Fixed. 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 Very good. As I always mention, English is simple if you understand the structure. Now. ¿Se quieren memorizar ustedes todo esto? No quieren. So, <laughs> for you to make it easier, let me give you a tip. A tip es un, como, ¿cómo les puedo truco. Un truco. Consejo. Thank you very much. Un consejo. Vamos a fijarnos, guys, y se los digo en español porque quiero que quede muy claro, en cómo termina el verbo en base. ¿Ok? Si el verbo en base termina en explosión, por ejemplo, decimos help. 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 Si el verbo termina en explosión, como por ejemplo, help, look, help. look. look. watch, wait, okay. fix, finish, fix, fix. Ajá. Todos esos que terminan en explosión mm -hmm. o que terminan en, por ejemplo, en aire. Serían dos, explosión o aire. Vamos a decir wash. Everyone? Wash. 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 Aire saliendo, ¿verdad? Kiss. 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 Dance. Kiss. Dance. 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 Okay. Laugh. 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 Sniff. 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 Mm -hmm. So, Sniff. este es el tip. Si los verbos en la forma base terminan en explosión o en aire saliendo, vamos a decirlos con T al final. Hola. ¿Está claro? ¿Any questions with this? No. Can you repeat again, please? Yes, absolutely. Si el verbo termina en explosión, pero siempre en la forma base, acordémonos. Vamos a decir help, explosión o viento. Explosión. 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 No. Explosión. Sniff. Sniff. Aire. 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 La. Aire. 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 Wash. 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 Aire.
Let's say, let's say it in English. Air. 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 And the other one is explosion. 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 Watch. 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 Explosion. Kiss. Explosion. Kiss. Air. 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 Dance. Air. Dance. Air. 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 Fix. Explosion. 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 Exactly. So, as you can read right here, these are the voiceless sounds. Okay? En vez de memorizarse todo esto, solo acuérdense. Si termina en aire o explosión, en pasado los pronunciamos con T. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. So, mm -hmm. let's see the difference. I'm going to... It's a good tip. It is. It helped me a lot <laughs> when I was learning. So, say it with me. I'm going to give you the base. And then I'm going to the first tense, okay? Help. Okay. Help. 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 Base. Help. Help. Mm -hmm. Look. 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 Sniff. 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 Okay. Laugh. 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 Love. Watch. 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 Dance. 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 Okay. Fix. 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 Good. Very good. Estamos claros ahí, ¿verdad? Cuando termina en T. Me basada. Fantastic. And now we're going to go with the D sound. Okay? D sound. La última D de David. Say with me, David. 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 Y dejen la lengua atrás de los dientes. David. 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 The no. David. 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 El David. Es, en vez de memorizar David. estas letras, es que estas letras tienen vibración. ¿Ok? okay. All right. Para mientras, guys, háganme un favor. Todo el mundo, let's mute the microphones, please. Yes. Yes. Let's mute the microphones. All right. So I'm going to explain to you how it is. And I want you to repeat at home. I cannot hear you, but please repeat. Call. Call. If you notice, oh, si se dan cuenta, la L vibra. Ok. Si quieren saber, teacher, yo no siento la vibración, pues exageren un poquito el sonido y extiéndanlo. En vez de decir call, digamos call. Y ahí nosotros vamos a sentir la vibración en nuestra boca. Ok. Call. Cold. Clean. Vibration. Cleaned. Offer, vibration at the end, offered. Damage, damage, damaged. Love, love, loved. Use, use, used. Amaze, amazed. Rub, rubbed. Claim, claimed. All right? So, este es un poquito más tricky. Tricky significa es como que tiene más, más truquito, como que no es tan claro. Pero tenemos que eh, sentir la vibración. ¿Ok? Ahora conmigo. R. Very good. So, ahí vamos, guys. ¿Pueden, ver, ¿Pueden entender la diferencia entre las que traen vibración y las que explotan y sueltan aire? Yes. yes. All right, very yes. good. Practice makes perfect, guys. Esto no lo van a masterizar en un día, pero con que les quede clara la diferencia, pues entonces ahí es donde podemos practicar. So, these are the voice sounds. Say voice sounds is because there is vibration. And when we say voiceless, is no vibration. Vete a aprender todo esto. 
las letras, aunque terminen, solo aprendamos a, a, aprendamos a identificar el sonido. And the last one, this one, estas terminan, guys, en sonido de T o T. Mm. Okay. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos want. 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 Uh -huh. Need. Want. Need. 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 En la forma base, ¿ok? So, en vez de terminar want. con T o con D, vamos a terminar con it. Vamos a decir wanted. 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 Needed. 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 Very good. So we have three. Needed. The ones with that finish in vibration, explosion or air, air, and the ones that finish with T or D. T or D. Sound. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, aquí estamos que es el sonido, no la última letra escrita. All right? Right. Very good. Do okay. you have any questions, guys, about the pronunciation of the regular impact? No. Anybody? No. Is it clear? No. no. Yeah. Has the water water clear? No. <laughs> <laughs> like kind like. <laughs> Very good. Like so, horchata. Like horchata. <laughs> right, now, I'm going to open up a break room and I want you to ask questions to each other. How do you say, te bañaste hoy? Did you shower today? Did you take a shower today? Did you take a shower today? In the in the pictures that you guys sent to the group, you have the structure. Did you take a shower today? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I didn't. Really? I did. No, I did. Um, <laughs> you see my hair, but it's because I. <laughs> And I need to wear a helmet, so my hair is always messy. It's your, it's your look. It's your look. Yeah, it's my look. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. Daisy, did you have breakfast today? Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. So, ¿cómo contestamos en respuesta corta, en afirmativo? Yes. Yes, I, I, yes, I, I did. did. Yes, I 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 did. Had, did Kevin have breakfast today? Did Kevin have breakfast today? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Well, no. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so now yes. ya sabemos cómo hacer las preguntas y cómo contestar. Voy a poner los break rooms para que puedan practicar y voy a estar visitándolos uno por uno, ¿ok? Okay. Okay. Well, make sure that okay. you accept the invitation. There you go. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hi. 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 Catherine, do you take a coffee today? Yes, I did. Okay, very good. That's a good answer. I copied. Oh, uh -huh. if you want to keep me? low answer, pueden dar la respuesta corta y luego la larga. Por ejemplo, yes, I did. I drank how many cups of coffee? ¿Cuántas tomó? Uh, one. Okay, so you can say I drank one cup, one cup of coffee. Okay. So okay. you can okay. give the short I answer and then the long answer. All right? Okay. All right. 
All right, perfect. Any question, girls? I just have girls in this in this room. No question? No? All right. Continue. Okay. We're gonna visit another group. Okay. Uh, William, did you dance in the last name? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. And you, Selena, did you dance uh, last, the last week? Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, and you, Laura, did you dance? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Now we can hear you, Laura. Welcome. Hoy se la puede escuchar, Laurita. All right. Very good. Any question, guys? All right. So continue practicing. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, Gio, did you... <laughs> Hello again, guys. I'm back. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention something. After the short answer, try to provide long answers. Long answer. For okay. example, um, okay. did you dance last night? No, I didn't. I, I dance. I didn't go to the party, for example. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, Siempre okay. tratando el pasado. Si es afirmativo, para que practiquemos los verbos en, en pasado. Y si es negativo, pues... Para que practiquemos las tres formas, ¿ok? Ok. All right, okay. very good. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> no, plates. Los platos. Eh, dishes. Ah, dishes. Ah. Dishes. Last no, night. After, after the dinner. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. after no, dinner. I didn't. I no, didn't. I didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> All days. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, Hi. Hi. I just want to mention Hi, something. You're doing good. I like that you're participating. Me gusta que participen. Solo tratemos de, después de la short answer, decir una respuesta larga. Ya sea en afirmativo, negativo, en pasado, okay. para que practiquemos los tres. All right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Any questions so far? Okay. Mm. Yes. Maybe? No. <laughs> no. Right. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let you practice. We're gonna close the 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 rooms in about three minutes. Practice, guys. Okay. okay. And. Okay, I have a question. Okay. Uh, did you practice English in your lunch time? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, yes, I did. Okay. Uh, yes, actually, I did. or in fact, I practice every day, every moment. Fantastic, Mr. Uh, Mendoza. I'm here. I'm like the big eye. <laughs> Hey, um, I just want to mention something. You're doing good, guys. Thank you. Um, asegurémonos de después de dar la short answer, dar una larga, ya sea en negativo o en, mm -hmm. o en afirmativo. All right? Very good. We're going to be closing the group in about two or three minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and you, and you, Sonia, you still relax your this or something. And in this, in in the morning, difficult because um, my family and me was um, I a chore. And okay, it uh -huh. is. Uh -huh. uh, also, cool. also, uh, we 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 was. We um, were. We were. We were. We were. It, we were. We were. We were. We were in a lunch in okay. the Pollo Campero. Ah, no, act. Uh, act. 
pollo campero. Delicious. Nice. <laughs> with my children happy, happy. Yes. No, with I... my children were happy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fantastic, nice. guys. Um, I'm going to be closing the, the break rooms in about no more than two minutes. Make sure that after the short answer, después de la short answer, digan una larga. Tanto okay. en afirmativo o en negativo para que practiquemos todo. All right? Okay. okay. All right. Perfect, okay. guys. Okay. Um, Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. All right. So I'm just waiting for all of the people to leave the break rooms. Did you have a chance to start to practice? Pudieron practicar? Yes. Yes. I did. Yes. All right. Fantastic. Um, Tienen alguna pregunta so far acerca de simple past? Any question? No. No? Okay. Very good. Teacher, mm -hmm. um, I have a question. Go ahead. In my group, eh, estábamos diciendo, sorry que lo diga en español, pero para oh. que me entienda. Oh. Este, cuando es la acción do, o sea, cuando ocupamos do como verbo, mm -hmm. está bien formular una pregunta, did you do exercise? Oh. Perfect. It is perfect. Sí. Está bien. Ah, okay. Porque el primer did está funcionando como auxiliar. Es parte mm -hmm. de la estructura. Mm -hmm. Y el otro, el do, está funcionando okay. como verbo. Okay. Okay. ok, thank you. Entonces sí, eso también lo podemos, lo, lo vamos a encontrar mucho porque nos confundimos. A veces mm -hmm. podemos decir, I have to have. Tengo que tener. Mm -hmm. Y se repite, I'm going to go. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sí se puede. Uno tiene una función y otra tiene otra diferente. Uh -huh. okay. All right, perfect. Um, any other question you might have, guys? No more questions? No. All right. No. So, if you check no. on the knowledge check, vamos a hacer el knowledge check 2.4. All right. Um, los voy a poner en los break rooms. Nuevamente por cinco minutos para que ustedes puedan hacerlo. Son, we have ten exercises. So, if you help each other, you can do it in five minutes, okay? Okay. And if you have any question, then okay, we have teacher. five more minutes to discuss it. Okay. All right, let's go back to break rooms.
Entonces tendría que ser la que es el did, you y stay, que el verbo quede igual, ¿verdad? Ok. Number two. La número dos. Trabajar. Perdón, ¿qué también sería? Este. La última. Porque mm -hmm. el segundo no cambia. Porque en, la, en el primer apóstol, el primer párrafo, está hablando en inglés. Esa, perdón, está, eh, está refiriéndose al, al negativo, entonces considero que ahí tiene que ir con pasado. Pero, o sea, como tendría que ser, no, I didn't call, call, call my friend. We drive. Siempre terminaría, o sea, siempre sería el, el, el verbo drive, ¿verdad? No. Hello, Rosario, can you hear me? In case you can hear me, I sent you an invite for you to join a group. Le mandé una invitación para que se pueda unir a un break room y pueda trabajar con sus compañeros. Can you hear me, Rosario? All right. Um, si en dado caso me puedo escuchar, pero yo no lo escucho, le he mandado una invitación para que se una a uno de los grupos y pueda discutir con sus compañeros. ¿Sí? Hello, guys. How are you doing? Hola. En uh, the, the number four, what, what is? Creo que es la dos. Have. I have. Uh -huh. Didn't like the noise. Uh -huh. Ajá. Enjoy. Didn't like the noise. What did you do? Did you do? Uh -huh. Didn't did 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 you do? Number five. Is did did do? Mm -hmm. The first is yes. I yes. loved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love, I love, went. Love, I loved, loved it. I loved three. it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. seven. 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 Is did you do anything special over the weekend? Mm -hmm. Is number two. Two. Yes. Two. Mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. three. Yeah. The eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. I went. No, I went. I did. Did. I did. No. Eh, okay. Did you? Está perdida. Did you do anything? Exactly. Did you do? Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Es la segunda, no puedes ocupar did you do el did you special. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok. Number eight. Vaya, ¿verdad? Dele usted, I Carlos. Quiero ver, yes, sí. I, yes, I did. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, sería. Yes. Number four. Number four. I in I have a party every every one. I think it's 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 positive. And this is I have in past. I have. I have. I have. Every I have. Word. I have. 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 I have.
Hello, William. Hi. We're just waiting for the rest of the classmates to exit the break rooms. Um, do you have any questions so far? No. Yes? No. Sure. All right. Perfect. All right. So we're getting more people back. Guys, questions? Any question? More time. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but don't worry, you will you will actually get it. All right, so I got Selena back and the rest of the people should be coming pretty soon. So guys. All right, now we are all back. Tienen alguna pregunta, guys, acerca de los ejercicios? Easy, no. difficult. It's a mirror because uh, when I practice, uh, the exercise is a mirror because uh, I thinking I thinking out about the answer. Mm -hmm. Pero cuando lo estamos viendo se ve fácil, pero cuando yo estoy realizando es lo complicado. The practice is the conversation. Yes, <laughs> that is correct. Um, also in pronunciation. <laughs> And pronunciation, correct? Yes. Por eso estábamos it's trabajando it's, en la it's, pronunciación. It's more difficult and more difficult. More difficult. No worry. Practice makes perfect, guys. La práctica es el maestro. Yes. All right. So, guys, por esta noche ha sido todo. Les recomiendo que sean curiosos. Si estamos trabajando con simple past, ponga ahí en, en el buscador que ustedes prefieren, en el search engine. Un search engine es, por ejemplo, Google, Mozilla Firefox, etc. Y ustedes pueden poner simple past exercises y van a hallar millones y millones y millones. Sin exagerar. So, y ahí les van a dar las respuestas. Practice makes perfect, okay? So, guys, thank you very much for being here another in another class. Thank you on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. I recommend you to practice, and if you have any question, let's do it tomorrow. Remember to work on the platform, all right? Thanks. Thank you, Good teacher. Night. Have teacher. a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And I'll Bye see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.